I've got two guests this week, Jem Heather. He is the CEO of Hyper Ice and Alex Toussaint, Hyper Ice athlete, Peloton instructor. I am a religious rider of his classes on Peloton. Hyper Ice is the official recovery technology. They've got deals with the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, UFC, and the PGA Tour. Their world-class athlete roster includes Naomi Osaka, Ja Morant, Christian McCaffrey, Fernando Tatis Jr., Blake Griffin, Lindsey Vaughn, Patrick Mahomes, and of course, Alex Toussaint. Learn more about Hyper Ice at hyperice.com. Jim and Alex, thanks so much for joining me on Sports Business Radio. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Thanks for having us on. Thank you for having us, boss. Can't complain. I woke up today. That's good. That's good. That's a good start. Jim, let's start with you. And, and I'll mention to our listeners, uh, Jim is a graduate of Loyola Marymount. So am I. So we're fellow Loyola Marymount Lions. That's a, a nice connection. But Jim, why don't you start with the founder story? How was mm. Hyper Ice started? Tell our listeners. Yeah, it's a great story. I'm actually not the founder. So I joined as CEO in 2014. I've been with the company for almost eight years. Uh, but the founding story is really interesting. You had um, Anthony Katz is the founder of the company. He uh, grew up in sports, was a basketball coach, a teacher as well. And as he started to age, he got into his mid thirties. He was still relatively young, but his body started breaking down and he couldn't do the things that he loved. He wanted to play basketball. He wanted to hoop. He wanted to do all these things, but he couldn't do it because his body wasn't responding. So he wanted to, he set out to create a brand. Um, at the time, it was just a product that could help people kind of maintain their founder youth, right? Be able to do the things that they love for a longer period of time. And the first product was an ice compression device um, that uh, Kobe Bryant actually helped us develop really early on. And the company's name was Hyper Ice after the Hyper Dunk shoe, which is a Nike shoe that was Kobe's shoe. So there's a lot of history and DNA around pro sports, pro athletes, and you still will see that through the brand, um, even as we're now transitioning into being more of a holistic wellness company. Yeah, it is an amazing story. Uh, and the story that I read was that athletes like Kobe Bryant got sick and tired of putting ice packs on their knees and the ice would drip and it was a mess. And, you know, there's got to be a better way for the recovery methods. And thus, you know, that was one of the factors that led to hyper ice being born. And, and that was it. And, and Anthony was actually out of his car handing these out to pro athletes throughout the U.S. So it started here in California and Southern Cal. And then it went from Kobe to LeBron to Dwayne Wade to all these different athletes. And they were like, hey, there's this guy who's selling an ice compression device out of his car, but you got to get one of these because it can actually help you recover. So um, still a lot of uh, inspiration around the hustle that I think, you know, Alex obviously lives every day. Um, and we live every day here at High Price. And Jim, before I get to Alex, give our listeners uh, an idea. I think you've been the CEO since 2014, if I'm correct. Yep. How did you get involved as CEO of High Price? Yeah, so, so I've been in the health tech space now for about 15 years, various startups. Um, I was previously at a, a company that was focused on health technology around concussion. So mitigating concussions, worked a lot with the NFL and a variety of players, both in the uh, football and hockey space and also military. And we were actually mutually introduced, myself and Anthony, back in 2013, um, both aligned on the mission of transforming Hyperice from being essentially at the time, it was more of a sporting goods company into a technology company. We wanted to be the Apple, the Tesla, the Dyson of the space. Um, so we met in 2013. I actually had another job offer on the table in, in Silicon Valley at the time that I'd already signed and I ripped that up, joined forces with him in 2014 and, and we've built something pretty amazing. Yeah, you've definitely built something amazing. All right, Alex, huge fan of yours. I have amazing pro athletes on all the time. I'm fanboying out over having you on. Uh, one of my favorite Peloton rides ever, the last dance ride. 27,000 people took that ride with you live. I was one of them. Um, what attracted you to work with Hyper Ice and being a Hyper Ice athlete? Yeah, uh, for me, I've been using Hyper Ice for a while now, about three years in my, um, three years of my career. I started uh, incorporating it into my routine. Um, I started off with the foam roller at first, the vibrating foam roller, and I got incorporated with Hypervolt Gun, um, especially with travel, being that it's so quiet, compact, very easy design. 
it was a no brainer for me. Um, when Hyperice and my team, they synced up together, the partnership was an absolute uh, no brainer. It was like, we need to make it happen, especially with my position here at Peloton being in the fitness space and leading that um, technology fitness space and being so super innovative. It only made a perfect uh, partnership to join Hyperice as well. I've thought often about the rest and recovery of the instructors. I mean, you guys have a busy schedule. Seems like you're on there every day. Um, so um, again, the fact that Hyperice has a wide variety of different products that you can use for that recovery, that's gotta make a huge difference for you. Absolutely, well, it comes anywhere from the back strap, uh, the heat and vibration, whenever my back is tight from riding the bike a little bit too often, or I could throw in the Norman Tech leg compressions. Um, I incorporate it in my day probably if not throughout my day as well. Pre-recovery, post-recovery, fine tuning is literally the best balance for me as an athlete on and off the bike to make sure that I'm equipped to get on the bike every single day and perform at a high caliber. So personally, when you're looking at doing deals with companies like Hyperize, what are the factors that go into it for you to say yes? Um, authenticity first. That needs to be number one key factor. I need to be able to sit down with the brand and work with them. It needs to be organic relationship partnership. Um, and just sitting down with Jim and his team over at Hyperice, like Jim could tell you, it was a no-brainer for us in the sense of just, we, we want to push the game forward. We want to make it available to everybody. We want people to understand the importance of recovery because how you recover is how you perform mentally and physically. So that we're just trying to change the space in that and make people aware of how important it is to recover. Jim, I mentioned some of the amazing athletes who are also investors in some cases earlier uh, in this conversation. Most people would look at that list and go, my God, what a list. How do you get those athletes not only engaged as uh, endorsers, but in some cases, investors? Yeah, and it actually goes back to Alex's point on authenticity. Most of the athletes, actually, I would say all but one in our whole roster had used the products for a long period of time prior to investing. And wow. so when it comes around and, and they... And they say, hey, look, here's an opportunity to, to put my money into a brand that I really, truly believe in, that I feel like I can have an impact, and I can effectuate change in a meaningful way. It was, it's easy. It really is. I remember the conversation we first had with Alex and when we brought him on, he, he was a guy that we as a team wanted on our team for a really long time. Um, everybody internally loved his rides. He had the energy, he was connected to the NBA. Um, he has a do better initiative, which is synonymous with one of our mission statements. There's so much stuff he was doing throughout the world outside of this Peloton that we love. Um, but I think we talked for maybe 10 minutes, Alex, just around here's where we're going. Here's the positioning. Um, and both of us aligned. It was we can really affect change here in a positive way through his voice and his reach. And uh, we struck the deal. And then within, I think we had almost already signed the deal and there was an opportunity for him to invest. And he called us up and said, hey, I want to roll some of that into an investment and got him on board. And um, again, one of the best signings we've ever had. And we positioned him as a hyper ice athlete. So it's Patrick Mahomes, John Morant, Anthony Davis, Naomi Osaka, Alex Toussaint. Um, and there's a lot of stuff coming from us as well. I'm based in Portland, so I've done a lot of work with Nike over the years, and I've been into the innovation lab, and I've seen the athletes firsthand give the input on the Nike product, and I'm wondering, Alex, and, and Jim with other athletes beyond Alex, do you have like an innovation lab? What's the process for the feedback from the athletes who are saying, hey, this works great, or we need to tweak it, or here's a product you haven't even thought of that we could roll out to the market. Yeah, and Brian, that's, that's a huge competitive advantage for us. Like we do really engage the feedback and that's part of the athlete investors and endorsers that we bring on. They wanna be part of that innovation roadmap, right? When we launched the recent product, the Hyperice X, which is the, the world's first contrast therapy device. It's, it's this device that goes from heat to cold. It's all portable. There's no liquid, no water, no ice. First of its kind. We sent that out to our athlete investors you know, probably 45, 60 days in advance. But even earlier than that, we were sending prototypes out and garnering feedback. Patrick Mahomes, what do you think about this? What's the look like? What's the feel? Is it getting cold enough? And because we're able to engage at that level with athletes and the leading sports performance experts, it makes us better. It makes us perfect our products. It, it helps us see around the corner for what's coming next. And it's been a competitive advantage since the very beginning and we'll never shift away from that because it's just a, a big part of our product innovation roadmap. Alex, when you get a prototype or you get something that they're wanting your feedback on, what's that process like for you? How many times do you need to try it before you feel like you know the product pretty well? 
I'm not to say this to gyms here, but it's kind of hard to provide feedback when they move and they create things that are so innovative that it's perfect when I receive it. <laughs> I'm not trying to say this to gyms here. Um, but that process is very smooth, very smooth. When I, I remember when I first joined on the team, one of the first things I said to Jim was, hey, I need something that's like the Hyperice X. And little, little did I know, he was like, trust me, we already got you, it's in the works. Um, so they're already ahead of the game. I just provide any input that I can and let them know how it affects me on and off the bike and how it incorporates into my recovery process. But uh, the, the Hyperice team does such an amazing job being ahead of the game, making sure uh, the athletes stay on point at all times. Do you ever go to Jim and say, hey, I got an idea for a product that you haven't developed yet. Uh, you know, here's something that would be helpful for me or, you know, my riders. That was a hyper X. And he looked at me and said, <laughs> I got you in due time. Literally the hyper X. <laughs> True story. Jim, True the thing story. I like too is one of the things that you guys have kind of shifted from. So like I mentioned before, you've got deals mm -hmm. with the NBA, the NFL, PGA tour, UFC, major league baseball, but you're also really focusing on the me. I mean, yeah. look, I got my, my Hypervolt Go right here. So, you know, I, I'm using this. The, the rider at home who's taken Alex's class or just the everyday wannabe athlete like me, you know, that gets out there and hoops and, and has aches and pains as I get older. How are you developing products for, for someone like me as well? Yeah, and, and interestingly enough, most people, they think of us as a sports performance brand, candidly, just because we are so ingrained in the league. But really only 7% or less of our purchases are from athletes, hmm. from the high school, college, youth, professional level, really. What we're reaching is the everyday fitness enthusiasts. And we recently rebranded with a new campaign um, called Do What You Love More. And the ethos behind that was, you know, you could be a pro athlete, you could be a dad. You could be a Peloton rider, right? You could be an everyday gym goer. You could be someone who just enjoys golf or enjoys hiking or whatever it may be. Our products help you do what you love more, whether that's get out of pain, increase mobility, increase performance, whatever it may be. And we felt like our brand candidly was a little bit intimidating in the past because it was very pro athlete centric. And we're now opening that up in a meaningful way and teaching people about how these products and technologies can help you unlock human potential, whatever you love to do. And that's why a guy like, like Alex on our team is so perfect because, you know, he's reaching a very diverse audience every day and inspiring them. And so for, for him to be able to carry that voice and teach people, Hey, look, you're on the bike, you're trying to accomplish your fitness and health goals. So you can do what you love here at Hyper Ice. These are tools and technologies to help you do what you love more. Um, so that's kind of where we're going to brain. I was going to say, Jim, the thing I love about the campaign, Do What You Love More, is that like we truly believe everybody is an athlete, right? Everybody that has a body should understand that privilege, pr uh, movement is a privilege. We want to provide people with that opportunity to move their bodies in a, in a wide variety of ranges. So like you said, whether you're a father, you're a soccer dad, you're a mom, you're a school teacher, whether you're a pro athlete, everybody should, have, should be put in a position to be able to move their bodies. And that's what we're all about here at the High Price Family. Yeah, I mean, actually, when I look at your roster... I don't think there's anyone better than Alex to reach the person like me and the everyday person. You know, a lot of people, I can't relate to throwing a football like Patrick Mahomes or hitting a tennis ball like Naomi Osaka, but mm -hmm. I can ride a bike. I, I can't ride it like Alex can, but I can, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can take his class and I can, you know, listen to his playlist and, and he's reaching the everyday person. So I, I think that's really important that you have him on your team. Agreed. And it's, it's not only that, um, the, the synergy here was, was crazy. We actually, every employee that gets onboarded at high price reads a book called the energy bus. And it's all about like, I've read energy. that book. That's yeah, a great book. book. <laughs> and it's a great book. And like, there's parts of the book that are cheesy. I love the book. And, um, but the message behind it was really powerful and strong. And there, there's so much synergy just in Alex's daily regimen. Like when you're on the bike, I mean, people are very inspired. He brings the energy. There were just things that he aligned with the brand intrinsically in the way that he kind of conducts himself with his own personal brand that um, made this awesome. So it's not only carrying the message, but it's carrying the message in the right voice. It's really important to us. I'm going to tell you a quick backstory on Energy Bus. So I'm mm -hmm. friends with uh, Eric Spolstra, the head oh, coach okay. of the Miami Heat. Right. When he got that job from Pat Riley, yep. he's like, I want to give the team a book to read. So he gives the team a book to read every Christmas. And that was the first book that he picked out to give to his team, the energy bus. Yep. So it's a good book. 
it, it's a good one to read every year. I mean, it's just like it resets. It, for me, it just kind of gives you a reset. Like, okay, okay, let's let's stay positive. If there's a challenge, let's overcome it. Let's not worry about the negativity around it. Let's just move past it and push forward. The other thing that has really come to the forefront, I'd say in the last couple of years, is mental wellness. And it used to be a topic that people, you know, didn't really discuss. And, you know, Jim, I know that Hyperice acquired core. We can talk about that. And then Alex, you know, that's one of the things that I think sets you apart from the other Peloton instructors. Not that they don't do it, but you do it so well. It's not just about the ride and the exercise. It's about the mental wellness of the ride as well. So I'll start with you, Jim, acquiring core and making that a part of your strategy going forward. Tell our listeners about that. Yeah, and that, that was the most transformative move we've ever made as a company, um, in my opinion. And we've, we've done a lot of really great stuff. And we have a great team here that, that's working around the clock. But uh, we wanted to be a company that really put some weight behind mental wellness. And we knew that because we had the reach and the connectivity, we thought we could carry that message very effectively um, and actually effectuate change. And when you look at the list of athletes on our roster and partners, Naomi Osaka is a hyper ice investor athlete. It's very well known about her stance on mental wellness. We're partnered with USA Gymnastics. And, you know, we were supportive there around the Olympics when there's so much pressure. Rory McElroy, uh, we haven't announced this yet, but just invested in the company as well. It's a huge supporter of mental wellness. We just dropped something. Well, I guess we, yeah, we're dropping it yeah. now. That's big news. <laughs> dropped, yeah, it is big. Um, and he, he's a huge advocate of mental wellness and, and trying to create change. So for us, we, we saw this company and this technology based out of Silicon Valley, um, a variety of Stanford engineers. Uh, the founder of that company, Sarah McDevitt, is a, a brilliant inventor and entrepreneur. And uh, it's a technology that combines kind of the uh, physical elements and mental elements of mental wellness. So you actually get data insights. It teaches you how to breathe properly. You get um, heart rate measurements on how you're calm and focused so you can kind of stay in alignment while you're meditating. So we felt it was very innovative. And if we were gonna enter the space, we had to do it in a hyper ice way, which was technology driven. Um, but in general, we just felt like this was the right time for us to use our voice to try to change the way people think about mental wellness. Um, and it's been really exciting and really fun, candidly, to see the response from everybody. I mean, we sent the product to Alex, he was fired up. We sent it to um, Fernando Tatis Jr. He said meditation was one of his superpowers, right? Uh, Rory McElroy loved the product. We sent the product, I mean, it's been just incredible to see people's response around this. Alex, maybe you can talk a little bit about it. And I'll also say, Alex, didn't you and Rory, like Rory takes your classes, right? I'm yeah. pretty sure. So you guys are, you guys are buds. You might catch him on the leaderboard. Might be competing. <laughs> 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 that actually made me super hyped to even hear that. Rory's a good person, great fan, um, and amazing at what he does. Amazing at what he does. But the, the mental wellness part of what Hyper Ice is doing, again, I know it's such a big part of your overall uh, instruction. Maybe you can talk about the importance of it. Yeah, absolutely. I, for me, I've always taught from the perspective of I teach for people's minds and allow their body to follow. Mm -hmm. And I think that people, I think that everybody's superpower is the ultimate muscle is their mind, right? And how you recover is how you is how you play. How you recover is how you play is my number one model. So for me, I've always lacked in my sleep stage. I've, I'm a terrible sleeper. I get to bed late. I wake up in the middle of the night. So just incorporating like a device that can help me monitor and help me fine tune things like that provides optimal performance with, for my body, let alone for my mind on a daily basis. Um, yeah, I, I think that's one of the things that we need to tap into just even more as athletes is unlocking that, that potential of mental training because we physically put our body through all kinds of workouts, all kinds of training on and off our professional field. So one of the things that we must happen to as athletes is making sure we train the mind as well. Do you feel like it's a conversation that's taking place more and more now, mental wellness, than it did a couple of years ago? Without a doubt, without a doubt. People like uh, Naomi Osaka, who are comfortable speaking about the vulnerability with their mental health and just being able to perform at that high caliber provides awareness to it. Because I think at first people view athletes as hey, you have this ability, a God-gifted ability with your body, everything else must be okay. And it's like, no, there's a lot of different factors that come into making sure that you're, on, you're performing at a high level every single day. And the mental health aspect of it is a crucial element, if not one of the most crucial. 
Hey, Jim, I showed you this earlier. So I've got the, uh, the Hyper Volt Go. I've been using it. It's been helping me with my aches and pains after my rides with Alex when I'm sore. He wears me out. Uh, the everyday person, again, one of the things that's amazing about this is I know in some of your deals with the leagues, we've always talked about recovery taking place after the game. Well, now you can recover. You can sit on the bench with the Hypervolt Go and recover during the game. To me, that's a game changer. Yeah, it is. And, and the, the deals that we did with the leagues, and just to take you back to how those transpired, in 2020, we were in COVID. And, you know, it was hard for us to kind of reach people at that time because everybody was locked, locked in, so to speak. We used to really utilize our partners that were out in the field so people could touch and feel the devices. Um, when we did the NBA deal, the, the idea there was for the first time ever, we wanted to bring technology to the court, right? You had Gatorade deals and things like that, which were integrating into the game, but we could actually change the game positively, right? Because we're expecting the performance in game. So the NBA looked at that deal as, look, not only are we going to be able to help hyperize game exposure through TV media, because we're going to see the world's best athlete using the products on the sidelines, but it can actually affect the performance of our athletes, which is affecting their product on the field, right? So it really was a win-win for everybody. Um, when you think about injury prevention, optimizing performance, range of motion, you know, the response from the players and the trainers was incredible. They said, wow, we can have access on every chair at courtside. Um, and you saw a lot of athletes like during the playoffs specifically pulling those out in key moments. Um, so I think those deals not only allow us the, the you know, to be able to help affect performance for the world's best athletes, but also to reach the masses through media, to your point, the TV, the NBA fan, the NFL fan, the PGA golf fan, um, and see what the, what the world's best athletes are using to optimize performance and wellness. Well, and I would think the Hyper Ice X is something that you can use in game too, right? The, the hot cold. I mean, that's something that I'm sure a lot of athletes would love to have during the game. Yeah, you're going to see uh, a bunch of hyper XXs on the sidelines in the NFL. Um, actually, week three is when we're debuting it. So next week on Sunday, you're going to see some pop up. So That's amazing. I'm definitely excited to uh, use a hyper XX versus put a bag of ice and tape it. <laughs> so <of> course, <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. So, Alex, walk me through your prep before ride and then your recovery after I've always been interested in that for the, the Peloton instructors. Cause again, you're doing a lot of rides. You're putting your body through a, a lot. Walk me through that process. Yeah. So if I had like tonight, I actually teaching a ride at about uh, seven 30 tonight. So about like five 30, I'll head into the studio, um, use a hyper ice foam roller, use a hypervolt um, gun, make sure that I just take out all the knots in my legs, get the blood flow going before I get onto the bike. Um, Post recovery is ext extremely crucial especially I have like a left knee, not injury, but it's a little bit, a little bit of a tweak from here and there. Um, I'll throw the Hyperice X on, make sure that I provide some cold therapy and some hot therapy to my leg, as well as using my Normatec leg recoveries, probably about 90 minutes, um, probably sit on the couch for about 90 minutes tonight, uh, post-class and make sure I just provide that optimal blo blood flow and do the same cycle all over again tomorrow. It's a, it's a repeating cycle. So it's important, you would think, to do that every day, like go through that same process every day, you know, the same way, right? Yeah, I think just because of how much I use my lower body, um, I probably need to, need to do it every single day. Everybody's completely different. If you're training three, four days a week, you may use it less, you may use it more depending on what works best for you. For somebody that gets on the bike pretty much every single day, whether I'm teaching live classes or training, um, it's incorporated in my routine without a doubt every single day. All right, for someone like me, I, I played sports growing up, but wasn't an elite athlete. <laughs> I try to get on the bike every day. Yeah. Um, but I also wonder like, is there a rest and recovery? Method? Absolutely. Like, like there, should I ever take a day off or should I try and get on there every day? Listen, I, I think just incorporating at least uh, 10 minutes of a low impact ride, not putting your body through such a rigorous workout because you know out of all people what a hit workout feels like compared to what a low impact ride feels like. Um, just getting on there and moving your body at least five to seven days a week and maybe three out of those four days, hit ride to bottom ride max. But for sure, um, incorporating a little bit of low impact rides and cool down rides as a way to recover and still provide your body that uh, movement that it needs on a daily basis. Couple more questions. Um, Alex, you do that ride with 27,000 people, the last dance ride. For people who don't know what the last dance is, it's the documentary on Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. It had a great soundtrack. 
you partnered with ESPN, you did arrive. I mean, that's like basically sitting on the basketball court in the middle of a full arena, 27,000 people live. And I can't even imagine how many people have taken it on demand afterwards. You do the playlist and everything for your rides. Like, what is that like? It's got to be like being, you know, an elite athlete performing in front of lots of people, even though you're in that studio and you can't see the 27,000 people like me. Now, without a doubt, it's funny you say that because I've always wanted to be a pro sports athlete myself, whether it be the NBA, or NFL, but uh, maybe I wasn't blessed with those abilities <laughs> at such a young age. Um, so to be in a position to teach a live ride of 27,000 people makes you feel like a pro athlete, without a doubt. Madison Square Garden in context is about 22,000 uh, people at a time. So 27, one verse 27 automatically puts me in a position to feel like a pro athlete. And when it came time to design the playlist and the structure of the class, as a basketball fan and who grew up watching back the Jordan in the 90s, I wanted to incorporate such a real 90s Bulls theme. So that's why I started with the intro. I made sure every interval, every song was a, a championship ring based throughout Michael Jordan's career. Um, I wanted to make sure if you were a Bulls fan or if you followed the legacy that the Bulls had in the 90s, you understood exactly the flow of the playlist. And um, I think we did a great job with it. It came out amazing. Uh, ESPN was happy. The team at Last Dance was happy. And I was I was as happy as an, as an athlete and also as an instructor to be able to do something that special. Yeah, that's amazing. And you even had the 23 Bulls jersey on during yeah. the ride. I was like, he's he's totally getting into it. Yeah, 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 for sure. Put the Jordans in the background and everything. We had to make sure the placement was on point. <laughs> How long does it take you to put a typical playlist together for one of your rides? Uh, it depends. It depends. Um, anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours sometimes. It depends on the, the playlist, the time, the vibe, uh, the, the duration of the playlist. Something like Last Dance took about two and a half days. And the, the most crucial part of that was the intro, being making sure that I locked in that, that actual Bulls Arena intro. I had to practice that day in and day out. Um, <laughs> But you know what, though? It's the process that I love more than anything. And it's the same thing with recovery. It's the process that I love. So, yeah, just to be able to be in a position to do something like that and be a basketball fan and a Peloton instructor and bring those two worlds together is a blessing for sure. Well, let me tell you what. You are very, very good at what you do. Thank you, Russ. Thank uh, you. Jim, before I let you go, what's the future hold for Hype Rice? You guys have been doing some amazing deals. Like we yeah. said, you're getting into the mental wellness game. You've got Hyper Ice X coming out. You got Rory McIlroy coming on board. But beyond that, what's the future look like? Yeah, and, and it's it's really exciting for us. We've been around for 10 years now. So the Hyper Ice X, good story here. The name X represents 10 years of innovation from the launch of the company when the first ice compression product was launched. So 10 years ago, ice compression, the name Hyper Ice, the company name, 10 years later, the world's first fully electronic icing and heating product. Um, so it just kind of represents that transformation over time, but we're just getting started. I mean, I feel like we've built, you know, percussion technology, vibration, pneumatic compression, mind technology, contrast therapy technology, thermal technology. And in the center of all that is our hyper smart environment, which is essentially a artificial intelligence recommendation engine that connects to your wearables. So if you're wearing a Whoop or you're wearing a Apple Health Watcher, or you're connected to Strava and you run three miles and your heart rate was X, your respiratory pattern was Y and you slept seven hours, our, our hyper smart environment is going to be able to curate content for you based on your personalized activity. Um, so this is something that we launched last year. We beta tested it and now we're bringing it to the world in a, in a bigger way. And uh, some of the innovations we have coming down the pipeline for, um, I mean, our, our roadmap has never been stronger. We have products launched all the way through 2024 that are already planned. And a lot of times we'll have 12 to 15 big ones in the cooker and maybe six or seven of those will actually see the light of day. So really excited about our innovation roadmap. I feel like we're just getting started. Um, we're, we're integrating into global environments very rapidly as well. We just announced Virat Kohli in India, who's the the world's biggest cricket player is 154 million followers. Wow. He invested in the company. Yeah. So he joined and he's really excited to help us uh, in India really uh, make headway and build the brand there. Um, so we're pretty excited. We feel like 10 years, we've came a long way, but we've built a foundation for something bigger. And our aspirations are to be the next Nike, to be the next uh, Tesla, to be the next Apple. Um, we want to be that level of, of company with that level of an impact. Well, I'll tell you what, from where I sit, this was long overdue. 
there was innovation needed in this space. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to just drill down to the, why are we still wearing ice packs that drip and get yeah. all over the corner of the field? Like the fact that you found a better mousetrap there and mm. you're using technology, you're incorporating mental wellness, you're tapping into amazing athletes like Alex here. And these athletes aren't just coming on and being spokespeople and saying, hey, this is great. They're investors too. You're on to something here. I know you don't need my endorsement on that, but uh, I'm very impressed with how you're doing things and the progression of your company. And uh, I think you're doing amazing things. I appreciate that. And I think, you know, part of this too is also supporting our partners. And I think the ideas that we get, like Alex uh, specifically around, you know, do better initiative and everything that he's working on, like we're collaborating on stuff. Yeah. It's not just one way where he's endorsing HyperX. Like we're trying to find ways to elevate him. He's finding ways to elevate us. Um, and when you have partnerships like that, that's when you really unlock the potential. Um, so we're, we're fired up for the future. And as you mentioned, Al Alex is one where, uh, you know, we have a lot of pro athletes that are in the other sports space. The impact that he has in the pool has been greater than even we expected. We had high aspirations. Alex, uh, great job with everything that you do. Uh, throw out a plug for, for Do Better. How can people learn more about that? Yes, you can follow the Do Better page, um, Feel Good, Look or Do Better on Instagram. And we're going to start throwing out a lot of initiatives. We've been uh, working behind the scenes. Um, we purposely don't tell people our announcements just because we want it to be less caption, more action. I want to make sure that we actually make things happen. Um, but be on the lookout. Follow Do Better page at Feel Good, Look Good, Do Better on Instagram. And we will be letting people know of some major announcements coming up uh, pretty, pretty soon. That's great. And I love your story. I mean, you know, you're, I could talk to you for an hour about just your story and where you've come from and where you are now, but it is so impressive. And, uh, you know, I love to see people like you have success. So congratulations on everything. And you truly, I'm not just saying this, you make our world a better place. You make my day better every day when I take your ride. You're like a, a lightning bolt of energy that, you know, oh. as soon as I turn your class on, I'm like, whoa, this guy's bringing it today. And I got to, I got to right bring my game up. Thank you, boss. Like, even hearing things like that give me the inspiration and the, and the power to keep doing what I do every single day. So thank you for showing up. Because uh, without members like you, I can't do what I do on a daily basis. So once again, it means, it means a lot. Pre truly appreciate it. Jim Heather, the CEO of Hyper Ice, Alex Toussaint, Hyper Ice athlete and Peloton instructor. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me on Sports Business Radio. Thank you, Thanks boss. For us. Appreciate it.